Hi there, this is Wendy from GrabTime. In our last demo, I showed how to ingest data to GrabTimeDB using InfluxDB Slime protocol. Just a quick reminder, GrabTimeDB offers a fast and cost-effective alternative to InfluxDB, boosting cloud-based elasticity and commodity storage. So now, as you may want to give us a try and start wondering how to migrate data from InfluxDB v2 to GrabTimeDB, then you are in the right place. In this demo, I will show you how to do this in detail. You can also find the written instruction in our tutorial blog on our website, which I attached the link in the description below. Okay, here we go. Okay, so let's start the demonstration. Before starting, let's make sure you meet all the prayer requests. So now I'm on the blog page. You can find the blog on our website. You need access to your InfluxDB engine pass, which contains your data files. In this demo, I will showcase migrating data from an InfluxDB v2 server in the Docker container. But as long as you can access the engine pass, the process should be the same. Now I set up the InfluxDB's v2 server and prepare sample data. Okay, so the first step is to create a new file and head to that clear directory. Okay, so now let's run the following command to start a new server in a container named InfluxDB2. Then let's create a new tab in our terminal and ex execute the setup command to initialize credentials with your username, password, and organization name. In this demo, we create a bucket named example bucket and later migrate data from here. Also, a token is required here. Otherwise, you won't be able to proceed further. Okay, the initialization process is now done and let's create and run a task to ingest sample data to InfluxDB2. Copy and execute these commands. It will create a task to ingest NOAA NDBC sample data. Let's copy the first few lines. Okay. So now you should find the ID here and let's set the environment variable. Using Flux scripting language, copy this command to set make sure you replace the ID here okay great so then run the following command to run the task immediately and check if the run has finished All good. Finally, let's check the sample data have been ingested to the example bucket. So let's copy the last row of the code. Okay, you should see a lot of data here. So that means our sample data have been ingested to the example bucket successfully. Now that you have an InfluxDB server up and running, let's go to the next step. Before migrating data to a GrabTimeDB server, you have to set it up. The fastest way to get a GrabTimeDB cluster is to start a hobby plane service on GrabTime Cloud. Note that the hobby plan is completely free with no credit card info needed. If you haven't registered a GrabTime Cloud account before, you can log in with your Google or GitHub account, or you can use your email, email to register one. Since I already have my account, I will go ahead and log in with my email address. If you are new to GrabTime Cloud, there will be a guide to show you how to create a new service. Here I've already have two and I will hit create new service to create a new one. 
Let's select the hobby plan, which is completely free. I would name this service InfluxDB V2 Migration. You can also generate one randomly if you'd like. Hit next step. Okay, so now your service is up and running. Let's hit the connection information. Here it shows your host name, DB name, username, and password, which we will use later to connect to our service. So now let's export the necessary environment variables. Copy and paste the command and replace the information here. Okay, great. It should have connected to our service now and the environment has been set. So now let's export data from InfluxDB V2 server. Since we set up the server as in appendix, so you can run the following command here. I'll copy the code, paste it to get the bucket ID to be migrated. Okay. Here we go. You can see the following output and you will see example bucket in the third row here. Then you can execute the following command here to export data in InfluxDB. Copy and paste. Here make sure you replace the bucket ID with the one you just generated. Cool. Okay, so now the data has been exported successfully. So also note that you can specify more concrete data sets like measurement and time range to be exported. And you can go to this page. We have link here to learn more for details. Okay, so here come to our last step, importing data to GraphTimeDB. If you set up the server as we do in Appendix, you can run the following command here, copy and paste to copy data file from Docker to your local machine. Okay, successfully copied. Since I'm using GrabTime Cloud's hobby plan and it has a rate limit, so we need to split the data file to several smaller ones. Let's run the following command to split the data file into multiple files with 1000 data per file. Okay, let's do it. Cool. Let's use the list command to check the current directly to see if we have split the document successfully. Looks good. The last step is to run the following command to import data to GraphTimeDB using InfluxDB HTTP API. Here we are uploading files with an interval of one second to avoid potential influence by the hobby plan rate limit. Yeah, it will take some time to upload all the data files. Okay, all done. Now let's go to the GrabTime Cloud dashboard to see if the data has been ingested successfully. Clip web dashboard. Here in the table tab, you can see the NDBC data here. Hit query table. You can drag the table window to the center. Also, you can maximize the query window. Here, you can conduct standard SQL query or prompt QL query to learn about the dataset detail. For example, let's query the total data using the select from command. Let's run all. Yes, you can see the result here. So those are the data we just ingested. Okay, so much for the demo. So why would you want to migrate from InfluxDB to GraphTimeDB? The first very obvious reason is that GraphTimeDB has its distributed cluster open-sourced, while InfluxDB only open-sourced the standalone version. 
so Grepton DB can be extended to any skill, while Influx DB OSS can only run a single node server. Another main reason is that Grepton DB has 10 times cost efficiency advantages compared to Influx DB OSS and cloud, thanks to the cloud based elasticity and commodity storage. We are finalizing a blog to talk about the comparison of the total cost of ownership, so stay tuned. Other advantages include that Grepton DB supports query data via standard SQL and PromQL, allowing you to leverage the metric data analysis and observability ecosystem. And the fact that Grepton DB supports Influx DB Slime protocol, as we shown in the last demo video, allows you to migrate your existing data ingestion pipeline from Influx DB smoothly. That's all for today's demo. You can find more product details on our website at Grepton.com. You can always find us on other social media accounts such as X, LinkedIn, by searching Grepton. Just a reminder, Grepton DB is completely open source, and if you're interested, just head to GitHub and check it out. Any PR, issue, or discussion is welcome. Should you encounter any product or technical question, you can join our Slack community. Our core development team is there for help. Also note that our database as a service product Grepton Cloud is now open for free with no credit card info required at all. So you can register using the link below in the description. Just give us a try and we are looking forward to your reply and feedback. So see you next time.